Good morning, you boys and girls. This is Luke Cardwalker, and I'm here with some Yu-Gi-Oh ASMR. Feel free to be relaxed and pleased. Stand by. Main phase. Normal summon Alistair. Search invocation. Thinking. Link into Salaman Great Hulk Mirage. Thinking. Link into Secure Guard now. How many cards in hand? Activate Invocation. Uh, Chain Lane, see ya. Fuck! How's it going, Yugi boys and girls? Ha happy Saturday. Welcome to Go Second Saturdays, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far. Huge shout out to my friend Alice. Thank you very much for this new mic. Uh, I hope you guys like the buttery sound of my voice. Go check her out on her Twitter handle, at TorchDaddy. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty excited for this uh, new microphone. It is very, very, very nice. Um, so yeah, thank you all, all of my love and affection uh, from the bottom of my heart. You have saved Go Second Saturdays, so you can all sit here and enjoy my terrible ASMR jokes. All right, so today we have uh, the polar opposite of our last episode, which was Crusadias. And Crusadias were trying to punch our opponent in the face one time for overlethal, um, which is one strategy. It is, in fact, a way to go second. Uh, it's very linear. Uh, you, you climb up into Equimax. You go for Maximus Effect to give it um, double damage, and you just poke your opponent one time per game. Mech Knights are a little more finesse. Uh, with Mech Knights, you are not trying to OTK. You certainly can in certain situations. However, for the most part, this deck is aiming to use your opponent's board in order to set up your own board and to uh, and to grind your opponent down until you you just beat them with the sheer amount of advantage that you gain through the uh, the spells and the traps, as well as your Mech Knight effects. Let's give a quick rundown of the deck. We are running three Gadarla. We're running Kaijus in this deck uh, because one, it clears a, um, a piece on your opponent's board, which is annoying. However, the more important part of this is it can set up columns for our Mech Knights. I'm sure by now everybody knows what Mech Knights do, but for those of you who don't know, we'll quickly run through them. So the thing with all the Mech Knights is they need two cards in the same column in order to summon themselves. Mech Knight Purple Nightfall is a quick effect. It can target a Mech Knight uh, you control, banish it until the standby phase of your next turn. And if you do, you can add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand, except for itself. Indigo Eclipse, all this card does is it moves columns. A sneaky good effect. I kid you not. Red Moon, it can destroy a face-up monster in this card's column. Um... By banishing another mech knight in your grave yellow star slightly better it can destroy a spell or trap in this card's column by banishing a monster in the grave blue sky is your major advantage gainer when this card is special summoned from the hand you can add mech knight monsters with different names equal to the number of opponent's cards in this card's column yes it has to be equal to it is not up to so if your opponent has two cards in one column and you summon this out you can add two different mech knights uh, major major advantage we are playing one World Chalice because of this card right here, our Gears to the Orcus Mech Knight. It is an Orcus, but it is, more importantly in this deck, a Mech Knight. What this card does is if it is normal special summoned, it can send an Orcus or World Legacy card from your deck to your grave. And then if there are two or more other cards in this card, column, treat it as a tuner, which doesn't really matter in this deck. Also, if you control no other monsters, you can special summon a token to both players' fields. This allows you to set up a column on your opponent's side uh, if you're going first or going second. Uh, but more importantly, it is a one-card Link 2, which is phenomenal. 
The reason why we send World Chalice is because the next turn we have a follow-up play. We can banish this card, and we can add any World Legacy card from our deck to our hand, which we play a plethora of. So we are going second. We are trying to break those boards. So we are playing Triple Lightning Storm in order to clear all that back row. Not so worried about the monsters, but however, it does pop up every once in a while. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, of course. Again, trying to pop those back row. Dark Ruler no more. Again, not trying to OTK, just trying to set up one terraforming because we are playing some degenerate bullshit. Three, Pot of Prosperity to see our power cards and a little more consistency because this deck does suffer a little bit of breakage, but overall it is fairly consistent. One World Legacy Secession, a Searchable Monster Reborn. Three World Legacy Memory, the In Archetype Itali. It special summons a Mech Knight from your hand or deck in defense, but at the end phase it returns to your hand. But it really doesn't matter because normally you're going to be summoning off Purple Nightfall and then getting the effect to search on your opponent's turn. Playing one World Legacy Key, what this card does is if you act once you activate it, you can target a banished Mech Knight monster or World Legacy card and add it to your hand. More importantly, negate any opponent's trap effect that resolves in the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control. World Legacy Whispers is our searchable Imperial Order. When this card is activated, you can target one level 5 or higher monster on the field that gains 1,000 attack and defense. This can't be activated in damage calc. But more importantly, it negates the effects of our opponent's spells that resolve in the same column as a Mech Knight monster. And then 3 World Legacy Secret. We are playing three of these because it is much better to open with your in archetype skill drain than it is to search it out. We would much rather be searching out a Whispers or a Key, um, so having this in your hand already is very, very nice. What this card does is it'll, it is a in archetype... Jesus, dog. This microphone is picking up my dog's footsteps all the way in the other fucking room. Shut up, dog. I'm going to turn you into Chinese food. Lay down, you're such a good girl. Okay. World Legacy Secret. When this card is activated, you can target one level 5 or higher monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. So it is your in archetype called the Haunted. But additionally, and more importantly, negate any opponent's monster effect that resolves in the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control. The wording on this is important. It is not exactly skill drain. What the card says is negate any opponent's monster effect that resolves in the same column. This means if it is a continuous effect, it is not going to be negated. So things like Fossil Dinopachycephalo or other random anti-meta bullshit is not going to be negated. Don't think that just because you flip this up, all your monsters, all your opponent's monsters aren't going to do shit anymore. All right, off to the extra deck. We're going to go backwards on this because Media Pro sucks. Okay, so we have one Link Spider in order to clear uh, Nibiru tokens, I guess. Secure Gardena, because this uh, card allows us to proc off our lip effect. More on that later. IP Mascarena, it does pop up. It does pop up every once in a while. However, it is not always uh, it is not always there. One Galatea, because if you notice, Girsu is an Orcist as well. We aren't playing the Counter Trap because we don't really need to. Two, Mech Knight of the Morning Star. This card is absolutely amazing, and nobody fucking reads it. If this card is Link Summoned, you can discard one Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card. Add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. This can allow us to get uh, copies of Secrets, Key, Whispers. It can even search out our Secession if we need to push for game. It can search out Memory if we, really, if we have all three of the other pieces. But additionally... If your Mech Knight monster battles a monster in a different column than it, your monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. Nobody fucking reads that effect! Three copies of Lib the World Key Blade Master. This card requires two monsters. Sounds easy enough, right? Can only be Link Summoned while you have a World Legacy card in your graveyard. So convenient that we send one off of our Gear Suit Orcus Mech Knight. We're playing three copies of Lib, the World Key Blade Master. This card requires any two monsters in order to be made. However, summoned while you have a World Legacy card in your graveyard. How convenient that we send one off of our gear suit. During, the main, during your main phase, you can set one World Legacy spell or trap directly from your deck, but it cannot be activated this turn while you have no World Legacy monster in your graveyard. How convenient that we send one off of gear suit. If this Link Summon card is sent to the graveyard as Link Material, you can shuffle one card on the field into the deck. That is non-targeting, folks. 
One copy of Nightmare Unicorn in order to spin back. Plays very nice with our lib. You can spin back two cards with one with only one discard. One McKnight Spectrum Supreme. This card is okay. We don't ever really go into it. However, there are times where it does pop up and you really appreciate having it when it does. This card can attack directly if it is the only card in its column. If this card in the extra monster zone points to no monsters, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. You can send one other card you control in this card's column to the graveyard. Special summon one Mech Knight monster from your deck in defense position. So this does allow you to get a little, a little bit of extension if you really need to. One copy of Access Code Talker because it's very easy to make in this deck and because, you know, Access Code Talker is amazing. One copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Astrum. This card we didn't really get to showcase off in the Crusadias. However, this does shine a lot more in the Mech Knight build, um, mainly because its name is Mech Knight. Uh, so it does play well with our spells and traps. Two plus monsters special summoned from the extra deck. So they have to be special summoned from the extra deck, which just so happens to happen a lot, where you can end on IP Mask Arena and Lib. And so you, what you do here is you use the uh, IP effect you go into your Mech Knight Crusader Astrum, you bounce with Lib, and then you have Mech Knight Astrum as a, uh, as a big beefy boy. While this Link Summon card is on the field, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, their monsters cannot target monsters for attacks except this one. Once per battle during damage calc, if this card battles a special summon monster, quick effect, you can make this card gain attack equal to that opponent's monster attack during that damage calculation only. If this Link Summoned card you control is sent to your graveyard by your opponent, you can shuffle one card on the field into the deck that is non-targeting. Since we're playing Galatea, we're also playing one Dean Gearsu. Coincidentally, you can hard make this as well because Purple and Indigo are both level 8s. So I used to do this in Super Quants all the time and it was an amazing combo. You don't really need to talk about Ding because it's an Orcist. And then one Zeus, which almost never comes up because you usually have your back row. However, the option is available to you. The side deck is irrelevant, but one cute thing I do want to mention. If you summon Scythe and you Scythe lock your opponent and you are grinding it out, Scythe is a level 5 that can be resummoned off of Warlexy Secret. That being said, that is the deck. Let's run through a couple of replays. Alright, in our first matchup, we are going up against Subterrors. They open up an interesting hand, showcasing that not all builds are the same. Uh, he doesn't open with the way to get to Guru or Hidden City, so we would call this a suboptimal board. Uh, but in most cases, staring down a dimensional barrier as well as a final battle and a quaking is a pretty formidable play. Um, however, we just so happen to be the best duelist in the world and open one of our lightning storms. So we're going to show off just how easy it is to clear our opponent's board. We're going to go for that lightning storm uh, right away. He's going to go for the Jar of Greed, final battle, and Deep Air calling a Blind Exceeds, which, hey, if you got it, you got it. Um, which is fine. He draws off the top of Monster Reborn. This build is super interesting. We're going to go for Prosperity, picking up ourselves. Oh my god, that card is amazing right there, Gearsu. And I'm going to show you just how great he is. We're going to go for that Gearsu, send that World Chalice, make that token, go for Lib. Lib effect, we are going to set ourselves a Whispers, just so we can lock our opponent out of spells. We're going to go for Blue Sky and a Purple Sky. We already have the key in hand, we already have the secret in hand, so we're going to go for the Trifecta here. Alright, we're going to shovel back with Lib, we don't care about that set card. Uh, go for Secession, bring back the Indigo Eclipse. We have uh, Key. We're going to go ahead and activate that as well as set our secret. Uh, our opponent's going to set a card right in our Mech Knight column. It's like he doesn't read. All right, we're going to go for the Blue Sky, bring that back. Um, and then we're going to go for Purple. Right here we have game, so we're not really worried about it. We're just going to go ahead and attack for game. Uh, really cute trying to activate that uh, Quaking. Read your card, you go players. All right, our next matchup is going to be against PK Brave. Now, our opponent opens up a pretty subpar hand. However, uh, it is enough to make us grind uh, because we didn't exactly open the nuts either. Uh, but we will uh, we will run through it. Griffin is going to special summon itself. It's not really going to have an effect because there's no token, so he's going to go straight for Veite, uh, go for the Fusion Destiny, set on DPE, pass. And he also has a Fog Blade set. So again, not the most ideal setup, but we do have a Lightning Storm. We're going to go ahead and pop those Spells and Traps. I'm going to Kaiju over that DPE, which means that he's not going to get it back anymore. Uh, go for our Purple. Search out Mystic Mind, because why not? Uh, we're going to sit on Mystic Mind, just in case he has an Ash Blossom. Um, going to go ahead and summon out our Blue Sky. Uh, go for Lib here. Uh, set our Secrets. Go for Morning Star. Lib's going to go ahead and shuffle back our Kaiju. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get Whispers. So we're, we're going to go for uh, a Spell Lock and Monster Effect Lock, uh, which is pretty good against um, 
uh, PKs. Uh, he's, he drew the right of Armesia. However, we do have our secrets and whisper set. So we're going to go ahead and chain both of those in order to get our uh, move man. Uh, he's going to go here for um, the usual uh, rank three plays that Phantom Knights does. However, move man is going to do his thing. He's going to move. Uh, but it's like people don't read cards. He's going to go for Zeus and leave it in the same column. Why would you do this? We're going to bring back that purple nightfall. We're going to go ahead and proc that effect. Get ourselves a blue sky. Search off a of blue sky. We're going to go ahead and move man our blue sky over. We're going to pop the uh, with yellow. He's going to attempt to Zeus, but it doesn't work because he didn't read his cards. We're going to go for that lib here. Um, go for key. Get back our mech knight. Go for our Avermac, or I'm sorry, Astrum. And then at this point, our opponent just concedes. All right, in our last matchup, we are playing against Zombie Old Lich. Now, you'll notice that we opened a bunch of spells. It's a good thing that Imperial Order is banned, right, folks? Uh, so he, this is going to be quite the grindy match. Um, Old Lich does have a pretty good matchup against us, uh, being that they can pop our Mystic Mine, and that's pretty much the only advantage they get against us. Luckily for him, we didn't draw a lot of uh, extenders. Otherwise, we could have done a lot more. However... We, uh, we play with what we got, right? So he's going to go ahead and go for that zombie world, get Solitaire, uh, getting his Unizombie. Unizombie, he's going to go ahead and send a um, Glow Up Bloom. He's already got the zombie world, so he's going to go ahead and get Balderock uh, straight off the bat. Um, he's already got the nuts. He's going to go for the Sanguine a little early, if you ask me. But it is what it is. You're more than welcome to do what uh, what you want to do, Yugi boys. Um, he's got White Destiny, bringing back a uh, uh, Baldercock off of our Kaiju. Um, Walkero is going to banish. I, I don't understand why he did that, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, we do have uh, enough to keep going. Mystic Mind's going to sit there for a bit. He's going to eventually get to a Conquistor, but we want to keep uh, the lock going as much as we can so we can uh, continuously get advantage and uh, not have to worry about it, especially since we have another Mystic Mind in our hand. I didn't really feel like I needed to uh, really, really try to extend. Um, and really, there's not much we could have done in that case. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go for that Prosperity. He's going to chain the Conk. Uh, we're going to chain the Purple um, just so we can get it before Balder, uh, Balderock gets a chance to um, get online. Because he doesn't have a Zombie World yet. Um, but Necrobanshee will be able to get it there. Uh, we're going to clear out that back row just because back row is scary. Uh, he's gonna go for Myst we're going to go for Mystic Mine here. He's going to banish a card, which is fine. Uh, he does get the Zombie World, so he will have a Negate. Um, go for lib. Lib effect, we're going to set ourselves a secret so that we can start negating stuff. Uh, blue is going to go ahead and special summon out um, and, and net us two cards. We're going to extend, get ourselves a key. So now we've locked them out of traps and monster effects effectively. Um, we're going to pop. I forgot that Balderock just brings itself back, so don't yell at me too much. Um, I should have popped something else, but I didn't. Whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for secrets. Secrets uh, is going to resolve, bring back our move man. Um, he's going to go ahead and banish something anyway, so we might as well just try to uh, bait out the negate. But it does have Super Poly, which, you know, Super Poly is a card. Um, unfortunately for him, he just did not have enough to uh, to really extend and uh, go for lethal. Um, but we got lucky here. Um, that's all I can say. So he's going to go ahead go for the... Um, this new Mayakashi card, which is kind of okay. It, it is a negate, I guess. Um, this card protects you. This card protects you from battle. And he's going to go ahead and banish our movement, which is a little bit rude, but we're going to bait out that negate. And now that we baited out the negate, we still have our trap negate and our monster negate. So we're going to go ahead and shut off that conquistador that we know he has. Uh, we're going to get our search off of blue, blue boy. Um, we're going to go for the trifecta now. So we have spells, traps, and monster effects. We're going to go ahead and start spinning stuff. Um, get rid of that Baldurak. We should have done that earlier. Uh, but oh well. Um, this girl is negated because you're in a mech knight column. So I don't know why you're trying, but whatever. Uh, Moo Man's going to stealthily move our little guy over here to negate that conquistador. Um, access code, we're going to just pop a couple of things uh, just so we can clear the board up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and walk over. Um, it's cute that this card can send for cost, uh, but at this point it really didn't matter. Um, he does have the Eldritch Engrave. Going to go ahead and go for that Zombie World, which he had in his hand, which was nice. Um, going to go for Eldritch 
uh, this was a cute little play we did here. So purple banish that, force him to attack into the purple. Whispers in damage calc, we're going to trade with that Eldritch just so that we can clear the board a little. Uh, Bother Rocket is going to come back, but again, don't really care about that because all of our monsters are going to come back uh, from purple. And we have another monster in our hand to negate his effects. So we're just going to go ahead and shut him off. Uh, and as soon as we have draw the Harpies, it's pretty much over our opponent concedes. All right, all in all, Mech Knights are a scary good deck. If you don't take my word for it, go find somebody who plays Mech Knights religiously. I promise you, this deck is an underdog. It is a, it is tier two at worst. A lot of players can't figure out the technical aspects of this deck. A lot of people will try to OTK with this. However, this deck does not need to OTK. It can, however, it does not need to. The recursion ability of purple and the advantage gaining off of blue are very, very superb effects. All in all, this deck is very fun to play. I promise you it is fun to play. Most of the time you're only activating Mystic Mine in order for you to get your monster effects off and then grind your opponent into a pulp. Being able to shut down your opponent from monster effects, spell effects, and trap effects with searchable cards is so strong. The only downfall is you need to grind it out in order to get to that advantage. I want to give a shout out to Juan Madera, the Mech Knight Chad of all Chads, and as well as Jared the Riddler, or aka Alistair Drag My Balls. Uh, both of them have piloted Mech Knight in the past and have done phenomenal jobs um, really introducing me to this deck. Uh, I, I played it as an engine mostly for Super Quants and way back in the day played it with Blue Eyes. Um, it is a lot of fun to play. Highly recommend picking up this deck. It's fairly cheap as well. Um, your most expensive card is going to be your purple uh, or your blue, which are, I believe, both under $10 a piece. So, uh, of course, you have access code. Um, that may be the most expensive card in the deck, um, but it is a lot of fun. Highly recommend picking it up. We're going to give this an arbitrary 6 out of 7 lollipops, uh, so by all means, go pick this deck up. Remember, guys, don't drink and duel. Have a happy Saturday. May the cards be with you. Peace out.